Okay, I know I'm building through this, but for a lot of people it's very familiar, and hopefully you can just go through the notes, come back to the lecture if you have to on the, on the video. Now the other thing about negative numbers is when we multiply and divide them, if the two signs are the same, then we end up with a positive number. So if you multiply by a positive number, the sign stays the same. So negative 14 times 2, that's a positive number, so the answer stays negative. Negative times positive is negative. Or if you multiply by a negative number, the sign changes. So say you start off with a negative, multiply by a negative, you end up with a positive. Or the other way of thinking about it is that both sides are, signs are the same, then you end up with a positive number. If both signs are different, you end up with a negative number. Is that right? You don't have a positive. Yes, it does. Okay. Momentary lapse there. Okay, so we have a look here. Got minus 5 times minus 2 is going to be positive 10. And the same with dividing. We've got one negative here, so it's going to be negative 4. Here we've got one negative, so it's going to be negative still, so negative 2,400. Here we've got two negatives, so it ends up as a positive. And really, though it's useful to know in your head how it works, the most important thing is that Excel knows how to do this, and so long as you write it correctly in Excel, it will give you the correct answer. It is useful to know what it should be, so that if, it, if you have put something wrong into Excel, you'll be able to tell that it's wrong. Okay. Oh, we're doing okay, actually. 